welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video about the Roberto Cavalli fragrances. I have been online and tried to get all the ones that are like currently sold, currently in production. I'm going to give you my review of them. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. We are all about perfumes here. So check out my hundreds of other videos. I have loads of range reviews just like this. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll leave the links down below to where you can get these in the UK and the US. So Roberto Cavalli has had fragrances out for a really long time. There have been 51 different Roberto Cavalli fragrances, which is incredible. And it only started in 2002. So 18 years, 51 fragrances. That's a very busy fragrance house. What I'm going to start with is probably the most like commonly sold, commonly seen. Um, and that's just the Roberto Cavalli Eau de Parfum. It's just called Roberto Cavalli. It doesn't have another name. And it's a very sort of brown theme with this, mm, is that a zebra print around the top? And this is a decent selling perfume because it really does have projection, strong, lasting power. To me, it smells like a tuberose. It's actually not tuberose. It's African orange flower with um, benzoin, but it comes across like a tuberose to me. We have tonka bean and we have vanilla. It's warm, it's sweet. There's an element of pink pepper in here which gives it a slight sharpness, but it really does mean business. You only need a couple of sprays of this and people will be able to smell you, you know, as you walk by. It's really good for lasting really strong projection. It's an eau de parfum, but it performs like something way stronger, like an intense version. I personally can find it a little bit overwhelming and it, it has a slightly sickliness to it. Not that it's too sweet, I don't know what it is, it's just quite heady and intense. So you have to be someone that wa really wants everyone to be able to smell them. So like, this is not subtle, it's intense. But considering this has been out for so long, it means that you can often buy this really heavily discounted, maybe like 30 something pounds for a full size and you're getting great value for money because you don't have to use it much. It lasts many, many hours. So it's good value for money and I do recommend it to people that want something warm and floral and feminine but strong. It's kind of a bit like a Juicy Couture perfume in that sense, I think, just not as it's sweet and obviously there's no fruit in it and um, but it has a, a juicy couture original type vibe to me i think so this was then followed by roberto cavalli nero absolute which comes in this big black bottle very intense now this is a proper woody perfume it has loads of wood and ebony it's kind of like walking into a church almost, you know, the smell of loads of wood. It has some vanilla in as well, but it really does smell like ebony. Like if you have just bought a new, I don't know, wooden piece of furniture, it's that type of smell. There's not many female perfumes that are so woody like this. It tends to be more male perfumes. So that makes it quite unique in a way. And it doesn't really have much in common with this one, even though they look so much the same. The only thing it has in common is that they both really have vanilla in, but this is much more like serious and deep and dark and woody. I, I think this is a very like autumn winter smell, you know, it, cold climate smell where you want something very comforting, very woody. I do think it could definitely be worn by men and women. There's nothing particularly feminine about this. You could easily wear this as a man. So in 2013, they released Just Cavalli, which is very um, recognized. You see this bottle in quite a lot of places still. This one is a bit lighter than this one, um, but it still has a strength to it and a lasting power. But it has neroli and chiari flower as like the main note. So it's a little bit like a powdery floral. It has rosewood in and it's very simple. It's a bit more spring, fresher, daytime than the other two. It's got a cleanness to it. I think this is more like every day. In my opinion, this would be more appropriate. Just a simple powdery floral that's feminine but not it doesn't have that headiness that the others have so it's a bit more subtle and a bit more 
um, simple, I guess. Roberto Cavalli kind of then started releasing these sort of paradise type perfumes. So we have Paradiso Azzurro, really love the bottle, much prefer it to the others. And this is like totally different to the others as well in its smell. It's very fresh and airy and it has a huge amount of cypress in. So I would say this is an aromatic smell with think um outside, cypress trees, lavender, those sort of aromatic Mediterranean vibes. Then you've got like a fresh green apple, fresh aquatic note, bergamot, tangerine, very, very fresh, very uplifting, but the cypress really dominates. And after a few minutes, that's really is the top main note you're smelling. Again, I think this is very unisex. Cypress could be worn by, you know, anyone. It's just a sort of green, outdoorsy, fresh smell but it's, I think this is quite a classy smell and it doesn't, again, have that headiness, but it does feel very different to the others, which did have quite an intensity. This is more like fresh outside, yeah, summer smell, I guess. And then the other one that I've managed to get my hands on is the brand new Paradise Found. This is definitely my favorite. This is a patchouli perfume, but then it has palm leaves in. And basically what that means is that you get the tropical notes, the smell of being in a tropical environment, but then you still have this strength from patchouli. It smells modern. It smells like a perfume of today. It's not sickly, it's intense and good for lasting, but in a um, feminine, pretty way. And then this tropical sense as well. I think this would be perfect for people that like their summer type smells, their tropical smells, but find that they're often very weak or light, eau de toilette. This is a good, strong eau de parfum with that patchouli, but you still get that sense of being on an island with palm leaves all around you. I have done a detailed review all about this and um, now that it's just come out, so I'll leave that link down below. But this is definitely, definitely my personal favorite. So those are all the ones I've managed to get my hands on, guys. Let me know what your favorite is from the range. Have you managed to try the new one or are you um, like a swearing by one of the older ones that have been out for a while? Let me know what you think. Um, but that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye.